Okay, I'm driving up to I-5, and yes, the hand, my hand's on the steering wheel, I can drive, but I'm on the way to Canada, as you can see, um, from Washington to go look at a place across the border. So you see there's a lot of traffic there, and I'm gonna see if I can pick up a brand new monster fish. Probably one of my favorite fish I've seen, and this particular fish is what I call Dovi, D-O-V-I-I. -I. One of my first monster fish, about 20 years ago when I actually got in the fish tank overall and I'm gonna pick up one right now hopefully it's still there it was there two weeks ago not for sure okay those that have never crossed the border we're almost into crossing into Canada good thing about that is that I have a Nexus pass so it should be really easy getting to the border so that's why I'm in this lane you guys probably can't see but straight ahead is the lane to cross the border so I'm almost here get ready to cross the border to look at my new monster fish and this is what the board looks like. We're in the Nexus Lane. So you can see right now, I'm getting ready to go into Canada. So I can't show the video while I'm crossing to the border, but we'll see you guys really soon. Okay, I have made it into Canada. So I crossed the border very easily. And one way you know when you're in Canada is you start going from miles per hour to kilometers. So that's one way to tell. Right now I'm passing in the city called Surrey. So right now, welcome to Canada is a sign. I'm passing right into Surrey. So here we go. I should be there very shortly for uh, look at a new fish. And I'm going to be excited about that. But here it comes right now is that's how you know you're in Canada because of kilometer sign versus miles per hour. So, okay, guys, I made the fish addicts here in Canada and Langley. So I'm going to take a look inside and see what kind of fish they have. Okay, as I walk in, I see a monster tank full of piranha fish. How many has in there? I don't know, but I've talked to the owner. He has several fish in there. Now, swinging to the left real quickly is the monster pond. All the monster fish that I love, catfish, paku. Um, my favorite fish are red tail hybrid. It's kind of dark, can't see them, but there are some big fish up to two to three feet long. Now, here's not the fish I'm going to get, but the dovi. Pretty cool fish, and this fish is actually recently donated from one of the people that are actually Aquarius. Now, Fantuza, full of those in one tank, big fish there as well, another catfish, a lot of stuff happening in this tank, but just one of the big tanks they have there. I enjoy the bigger tanks in the uh, fish addicts. Can't see this, but a lot of koi here, um, but then this tank right here, you got a couple of koi fish. Um, you can't see again, but it's also, um, a, a flybrow turtle, there's also a stingrays in there, and other cool looking fish in those tanks. But as I swing again to a different part, you can see Oscars, humongous Oscars. That was Jack Dempsey, red tail, not catfish, and some other fish in this tank here. And look at what's in this tank. Pretty dark with nothing in, but look at these. I know I'm going kind of fast, but I just want to see how many fish are in there and make sure I kind of capture every single fish, ring to the right. Some mollies there, platies there, different fish in this particular shop. And I love all these different fish they have. But I'm always about the monster fish. I just want to show you guys. Now I'm going to swing back over to the monster pond. You can see the alligator guard there, a rip saw. What's swimming away is the red tail hybrid. And what's coming up is the red tail catfish. Now, most people know this is the monster fish in the aquarium hobby. This one has to be at least three foot long. I mean, it's a really incredible size. And there, right behind there is a red tail hybrid, my second favorite fish in the aquarium. Okay, I made out of fish aquatics, as you guys can see, somewhere back behind there, and I got the fish I actually wanted. I actually got something new here, a nice little cave for some of the other fish that I have. But let's take a look. And obviously, when they're big fish, you got to put in something. And this was a kitty litter. So, and there he is. I found it. Don't know what I'm going to name it, but definitely a fish. As I got a, out of fish aquatic. I can't wait to put him in the fish room. I can make him getting ready to go and take him right across the border. I just want to say, always declare, declare. I got stopped. I got sent to secondary. They have to verify. So those that don't know is that when you cross the border, into, in the United, especially from Canada and the United States, to protect the United States, they always have to stop you and ask you, what do you bring it in? Always declare. I declared I had a fish. I got sent to secondary. And that's why I'm here in the car stop. So I've been across the border. But yeah, declare. Everything is fine. And now I'm going to be released. And now I'm going back to the United States.